Hello everyone, my name is Aditya Shivaswa and in this video we are going to talk about Transmission Control Protocol which is TCP. So let's start. Let's have an overview of what TCP is. TCP is Transmission Control Protocol and it's a connection oriented protocol. So in a way you can say that uh, the transmission in TCP, the, uh, the TCP Transmission Control Protocol is reliable. And is reliable why? Let's uh, we will be talking about it later okay with that why tcp is reliable so it is connection oriented it means before any data transfer tcp establishes a connection with the help of what with the help of three-way handshake okay there is a there's a process called three-way handshake which is done by tcp transmission control protocol which ensures that the client is available to receive the data okay three way handshake basically is uh, ensures the the thing between the two machines between maybe a server or a client between a uh, two host between any two machines where data has is going to be transferred three way handshake establishes a connection by ensuring that the the both parties are available to receive the data and both parties have their buffer limit I've already covered a video on three-way handshake, so if you guys want to look at that, please have a look on my TCP on my three-way handshake video. It also do is detects error. TCP detects error. How? TCP has checksums for headers and data, and segments with invalid checksums are discarded by TCP. And it is reliable why one more reason that it is reliable because receiver sends an acknowledgement for segments as soon as the receiver receives a TCB packet it sends the acknowledgement which is ACK acknowledgement okay and when TCB doesn't receive an acknowledgement in time it retransmits the segment that's why it is reliable So let's talk about TCP format. Okay, we have this TCP format here, a TCP header. You can say that. So we have source port number, destination port number, sequence number, which is 32 bits, acknowledgement number, which is again 32 bits, header length, flags, window size, TCP checksum, urgent pointer, options, and finally data. So what does this all means? Let's start one by one, and we'll start from port number. Port number is the thing which identifies the endpoint of connection. Like if my port number is let's say 443, it means uh, it means the server is getting requests from HTTPS protocol, which is hypertext transmission control transmission protocol secured. And what is HTTPS? HTTPS is basically HTTP plus SSL. When hypertext transmission transmission protocol adds with SSL secured socket layer, it creates a new protocol which we can say HTTPS hypertext transmission protocol secured let's talk about window size first window size is the maximum limit of bytes that a receiver can accept okay so window size is the maximum limit of bytes that the receiver can accept at that particular moment got it TCP checksum covers both TCP header and TCP data so now you know if the check if the checksum is invalid it means it's it is it's having an invalid data and it's having an invalid header with the invalid header with the invalid data tcp rejects the checksum and resend the segments right that's why it is reliable urgent pointer it's only valid if urg flag is set I'm talking about urgent pointer this so urgent pointer is only valid when URG pointer is set URG flag pointer is set you learn about URG point URG flag pointer later and uh, I'll cover this topic in my next videos okay so let's talk about options options have like there are two three options in this header we can set like maximum segment size window scale option and it can increase tcp window you can increase tcp window from 16 bits to 32 bits but only 
used in synchronization first segment which is syn segment while sending the header okay we have heard about we have heard about three way handshake i have already told you guys what three way handshake is in my previous video you can have a look on on that video so you'll get the like better understanding what is syn what is ack ack is acknowledgement number and syn is synchronization number which is basically the first segment of three way handshake and first segment of tcp header from send from source port to destination port now let's talk about sequence number from that starting point each packet sent by either end contain two sequence number one is to specify where the stream packet is and an acknowledgement sequence number so basically sequence number is what is is want to specify where in the stream the packet is like where my packet is where my packet is going from where my packet is coming all the details in that particular number in that singular number which is sequence number okay like if i'm having a line let's say let's say if i'm having a line of of 10 tcp headers and each of them assigned a sequence so they will pass through the gates they will pass through the 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 gateway with the help by their designated sequence number okay so that uh, the sequence number 9 won't be passed after 2 it will pass after 8 only because it's having a sequence number and the gate will only pass the packets as per their sequence number and then we have an acknowledgement sequence number which is acknowledgement number basically if i received a packet with sequence number 2 i will be sending us acknowledgement sequence number 2.0 2.1 got it so that's all about tcp header I will let it out. Port number is a thing which identifies the endpoint of connection. A pair of IP addresses and port number identifies one endpoint of connection. That's it. TCP header files like have we have window size is the maximum number of bytes that a receiver can accept. TCP checksum covers both TCP header and TCP data. An urgent pointer only valid if URG flag is set. And then we have options like no maximum segment size window scale timestamp option these are like different things we'll cover all these things in my next video three-way handshake i've already covered in my previous video please have a look at it tcp states so we have these states like close listen sync received sync sent established fin wait one fin wait two time wait closing closing close wait last acknowledgement so each of these states decides the basically the quality of TCP segments like whether the connection is active or pending whether the service is waiting for an incoming call or a connection request has arrived waiting for acknowledgement or the client has started to open a connection normal data transfer rate client has said it is finished server has agreed to release wait for pending packets both sides have tried to close simultaneously server has initiated a release or wait for pending packets so thank you all guys this is all about tcp header and we'll be covering tcp ip it's a different thing so we'll be covering tcp ip in my next video and then we'll cover udp so by doing all these will we will cover our transport layer which is basically the, the 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 fourth layer of osi model and after that we will cover osi reference model so thank you guys stay tuned please subscribe to my channel for more upcoming videos and great videos do like share and comment on the video so that i can be available for you anytime i can make the videos as per your choice whatever you like whatever you feel like saying the feedback of this video the feedback of the session the anything about the video or anything about the upcoming videos please comment me thank you so much guys thank you so much for your time